Hey guys, it's me, Lori from Tiori, and let's get this thing started. Welcome back to another episode of New Santhara. Where would he go? Somewhere. Where we couldn't find him or reach him. Um. Wait, could it be? He could have gone across the border. To the Godomo's territory. Yes, but that would be suicidal. We both groan in frustration. Yes, another suicide attempt. I should have known. Is there any way for me to... No. No, you wait with Granny Sukuma, Yuda, and Ashi. The warriors and I will go search for him as fast as we can. But... You heard the man. Now let's go. Adding to my irritation, Yuda sounded too eager to get back to home. Oh, fine. I'll be waiting for you, Mitra. I'm sure Granny and Ashi would like to hear some news from you, too. Alright. Oh my gosh. So what's gonna happen next? Later that night, it started to rain. Granny Sukuma, Ashi, Yuta, and I waited for Mitra in the living room. An increasingly uncomfortable and grim silence passed between us. Yuta looked like he really wanted to be somewhere else, but he also looked like he didn't want to leave Ashi's side either. Ashi seemed like she had been crying, her eyes red, puffy, but dry. Granny Sukuma feigned calmness. She sipped her tea once in a while, creating an illusion of calmness, but I knew better when I saw how her hands trembled slightly. I shivered when I suddenly remembered about my nightmare. Why now of all times? Come in. Mitra. Oh, whoops, I forgot about Ashi's little voice. Only Yuda stayed in his seat while the others and I surround Mitra the moment he came in. Did you? Ashi sounded hopeful. But then. Mitra shook his head and as she sobbed in Yuda's arms when she saw whatever was shown to her. What? That was when I saw what Mitra bought. What did he bring? A piece of familiar orange cloth with specks of blood on it. No, this doesn't mean anything. He could have ripped that in an accident. Mitra! He couldn't! I'm sorry. No! Oh my gosh. I slumped into my seat. How could you? Rama. Rama has left us forever. Even though I only knew him for about four months, Rama had grown on to me. And I felt like, like I had lost an important family member. Oh, don't do this to me! Silent tears dribbled down my cheeks. I didn't bother to wipe it since more just kept coming out. As she sobbed, echoed in the living room, accompanied by the sound of the rain. Yuda was frozen in place, accompanied, occupied with comforting his wife, while Granny looked speechless and lost. A few minutes later, she silently went into her room, while Mitra, he clenched the bloody cough so hard that his knuckles turned white. I couldn't see his face, but I could sense deep sadness radiated from him. Aw, oh, this is depressing. So, you couldn't save him. It's alright. At least he's with us now. With who? Us? What? Okay. Oh, not this music. The next day, the sun rise from the east with vibrance as usual. But today, everyone in the house was somber in grief. Granny Sukuma decided that it was not wise to tell the villagers about Rama's death now, since the festival was so close. It would only serve to diminish the villager spirits and ruin the festival. She planned to tell the villagers in private, and since Mitra said he couldn't recover, Rama's body. They would have a prayer ritual for him instead of a burial ritual. 
They would also be grieving for three days to pay Rama their respect. The next three days would be tough, but... You alright, Ashi? Yes, I'm fine. Cheer up, okay? We'll get through this together, but if you cry again... I think I'm gonna cry too. And we have a festival to prepare, remember? Ashi let out a weak giggle. You're right. I still have lots of cooking to do. Can you help me? You can count on me. <laughs> I have to be strong for Ashi and Granny Sukuma's sake. Oh, this is so sad. Why? Meanwhile, three figures hid in the dead forest. A strong stench of death was thick around them, making other animals shudder and stop in their tracks. When they recognized the predators, they bolted in fear. They did what? They, they killed three of our warriors, sir. The ones whose job was to spy on Loma's village. Huh. Ha ha ha. They finally did it. Their foolish actions just cost them the truce. I was planning to break it soon, but the fools did it on their own. Wait until Chief Silva hears this. Uh, sir? What is it? Can we get to our payment, please? Didn't I just give you that yesterday? I, I can't help myself, sir. But please, we need it. You too. Since I'm in a very good mood here, share it among you. When the small figures began to fight among themselves, the bigger figure laughed early. Oh, eerily. Four months, just as I predicted. <laughs> Things should fall into their place soon. Oh, what's gonna happen? It's partying time! Woo! When the festival was here, I couldn't describe how relieved I was to see Ashi's cheerful smile again despite some dark circles around her eyes from crying too much. Wow, that's a long sentence. She was trying her best to hide how sad she was about Rama's departure, and I was grateful for it, but... Come on, Tamara! The festival already started without you! I'll catch up with you and Yuta later, Ashi. I need to bring this fresh batch of herbs to Granny first. Oh, do you want me to accompany you? Oh my gosh, what did I say? Nah, I don't want to face Yuta's wrath when he found out I held you down. I'm pretty sure he are, is already waiting for you impatiently right now. Man, I can't pronounce things. I'm sorry, guys. Ashi looked reluctant at first, but when I gave her another reassuring smile, she finally noticed. Alright then, remember, we'll be at the village square. Yeah, of course. <sighs> there were simply too many things on my plate, and I never noticed that her hair was always down. I was still sad about Rama's death, but even then, I couldn't stop thinking about Rexa. How he turned his back on me? Or how my heart dropped the moment his eyes turned cold? It was as if we were back to square one. It took so long to make him open too. I should have told him sooner. Tamara? I thought you already left with Hashi. Well, I just wanted to give you this first. Granny Sukuma took the basket of herbs I offered and inspected it with critical eyes for a moment before nodding her approval. Good. It seems my tutoring pay off well. All thanks to you, Granny. Though, I don't know why you look so gloomy in the middle of a festival. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing it off is not working, Tamara. Is it about Rama? Partly, yes, but... Or does it have something to do with your constant disappearances? Uh... Oh... 
from your shocked expression, I guess I'm right. Oh shit. My bloody face gave it up. I'm also curious as to how your knowledge about herbs and medicine improved right after you came back from your... Should I say, adventure? Granny, I... Which means you practiced on your free time. I almost sighed in relief. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But then I was left again at her mercy when, with her next statement. But I had to think twice when I noticed that some herbs and food ingredients was also disappearing from the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I paled considerably when Granny had the oh I know what you were doing smile on her face. Deciding to cut my misery short, I groaned before facing the in. Edible. I don't even know how to say that. Granny, please stop teasing me and tell me how much you know. Granny Sukuma chuckled. Oh, not that much. Just that you were taking care of someone injured for s since four months ago, and I assume he or she is not avian since I checked around the village and no one is absent. One of my eyebrows twitched. She hit the nail right on the head. There was no way I could lie to Granny Sukuma since she was already investigated that much. So I didn't even bother to deny it. Yes, have you told anyone about this? She shook her head. Are you mad at me? Flinching, I prepared myself for the incoming lecture, but... Surprisingly, she just flicked my head. Granny? No, I'm not mad at you. I am proud. This could be the first step to start a new peaceful world with the Komodos. I wish I had more people like you on my side, Tamara. Oh, Granny Sukuma, bringing tears to my eyes. Relief flooded my chest in gentle waves, and I let out a long breath I had been holding back unconsciously. I was prepared for the worst when I decided to help Rexa, but it seemed that I jumped into a conclusion too quickly. I forgot that some people didn't hate the Komodos, like Granny Sukuma. I forgot about that too. I love you, Granny Sukuma, so you're so understanding. Ah, oh, so that's what happened. I told Granny Sukuma everything from when I found Rexa until he left. It felt like a load had been lifted off my shoulders, as if I had finally someone to sh share this story. She seemed to be in deep thought while I waited nervously for what she had to say, then go. Excuse me? What? She pushed me gently towards the exit door. Um, if you're worried so much about him, go and make up with him. Yes, but what about Ashi and you, though? I can't just disappear, and I doubt I'll go back tonight if I go. Don't worry over the small matters. I'll cover for you. Really, Granny? Of course. You're the best. She's like one of my favorite characters. Yes, now I'll go before I change my mind. I couldn't believe this was happening. I really could go and find Rexa. Thank you, Granny. In my happiness, I gave Granny a big bear hug. I could tell she had her doubts when I hugged her, but I was really happy regardless. Yes, yes. Don't get used to it. Also, be careful out there, Tamara. Not all could mo- Kodomo. Komodos are as good as this Rexa person. Gosh, can't talk. Though I'm sure he'll take good care of you. Um, I can take care of myself just fine, Granny, and also remember I'm coming back. Alright, I'll just take this old map with me and be off. Are you sure that's all you need? Yes! I'll be going then, Granny Sukuma. Thanks again! Stay safe. Hmm. So eager. She even forgot to close the door. Just like me and old Silvo. Whoa! Granny Sukuma. What happened? With adrenaline pump pumping in my blood. I ran all the way to the dead forest border with occasional stops to check my surroundings. Or maybe patrolling warriors. And with that, 
I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click that like button and also subscribe to my channel. See you guys soon.